In today's video, I'll be looking at what it means when your Echo speaker is flashing a purple light ring. This is part of our Alexa support series, which you can find on our Smart Home Perfected YouTube channel. If this video helps you out, then it'd be great if you gave the video a like below, and if interested in more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel. So, there are two variations of the purple light ring on your Alexa Echo device. The first is a quick purple flash, which signifies that the Do Not Disturb mode is currently switched on. And the second is a pulsing purple light, which communicates that there has been a Wi-Fi issue while setting up your device. To help out other viewers, it'd be great if you could leave a comment to let us know what fix worked for you, or if you're still struggling with your device. So, the first reason you'll get the purple ring is Alexa's Do Not Disturb mode. Every Amazon Echo device comes with the Do Not Disturb mode. Similar to your smartphone, the Do Not Disturb feature on your Alexa device prevents announcements, notifications, or calls from interrupting your day. I regularly use this feature myself when my infant is down for a nap so as not to disturb her sleep. It's also great when working from home to avoid distractions when on calls or in meetings. When the Do Not Disturb mode is enabled, Alexa will give a quick flash of the purple light. Any further commands you give Alexa while still enabled will also include the purple light flash to remind you it's still on. You can manually enable and disable Do Not Disturb by voice or through the app. You can also set a schedule to provide a daily start and end time for the feature to toggle on or off. Set Do Not Disturb. I won't disturb you. And as you can see, it flashes purple. You can also disable Do Not Disturb by saying, Disable Do Not Disturb. Do Not Disturb is now off. Once you turn off Do Not Disturb mode, all of the notifications that built up will push through to your Alexa devices. It's worth noting that alarms, reminders, and timers are still delivered even when Do Not Disturb mode is enabled. To enable Do Not Disturb mode on your Alexa Echo device, go into your Alexa app, go to Devices, click on Echo on Alexa, and then choose the speaker that you want to add Do Not Disturb mode to. In this case, it's Office. So from here, you click on the cog for Settings. Scroll down to Do Not Disturb. So I'll just turn off mute here. So within the Do Not Disturb mode, um, click the toggle for Do Not Disturb. And as you can see, the device has that purple flash of that purple ring. At this point, Do Not Disturb mode is enabled. You can also set a schedule for Do Not Disturb mode. So you can enable start times, end times on a daily basis. And then to disable Do Not Disturb mode, you can just press that again, and it disables it. You can also sync these Do Not Disturb settings to all your other Echo speakers. So, the second cause of the purple ring on your Alexa device is usually if you encounter Wi-Fi issues during the setup process. While not a common occurrence, the Alexa purple ring light can pulse if it encounters Wi-Fi issues during setup. In my experience, this usually requires performing a full reset of your Echo device and starting the process again. To perform a hard reset, you simply hold the action button on your speaker for 30 seconds. The action button is the one with a solid circle. Um, that is also the one you use to enter setup mode, so you need to push through that for 30 seconds and then it'll fully reset. Some other tips to solve Wi-Fi issues causing the purple ring. Number one, it's best to have Bluetooth enabled on your phone. This speeds up uh, device provisioning, um, so that way you don't need to swap over to a kind of a temporary Wi-Fi network that's set up um, in the Echo device. Wi-Fi range and interference can be a cause of the purple ring pulsing. Um, so I recommend maybe standing close to the Wi-Fi router as you set up the device. Um, and if it works fine there, then move it to where you need to move it to and see, can she still connect? If you're struggling on the range or interference um, issues, then you may need to upgrade your Wi-Fi infrastructure to something like mesh Wi-Fi or get some repeaters or, or um, extenders in place. Your Wi-Fi configuration or security protocols at your router may be a factor to consider as well. So it's worth reviewing things like firewall settings, MAC address, filtering, host configuration settings, etc. A little outside of the scope of this video, um, but there can be configuration issues that, that are causing problems. So that's it. I hope this video helps shed some light on the Alexa purple ring, pun intended. If you've encountered the Wi-Fi issues mentioned in this video, let us know in the comments below what worked for you, what didn't work for you, and just your general experience. Thanks again for watching.